Have you seen Kanye's Red October Yeezys? Yes, I have. Uh, are you a fan of those at all? They look very dope. Can't even front. They look very dope. You know, even though Mr. Uh, New Slave, who uh, likes to denounce corporations and denounce corporate America, and who said that even though he went into, even though the Air Yeezy was on eBay for 90000 Nike didn't call him the next day and want to do a partnership, even though he sounds so disgruntled over Nike, he's got another Nike sneaker coming out. <laughs> that walking contradiction Kanye is. But yeah, the Red October looks dope. And um, I hope to get a pair. Okay. Nah. I mean, I don't, you never know. I know, I'm not going to say that. You never know. Like I said, they're killing over LeBron's now. So, I don't know, man. The, the, put it like this. The less Yeezys they put on the street, the more prone to violence the situation is. You know what I'm saying? They put enough out there for everybody and people are satisfied, cool, which I don't understand. I don't understand why they just don't put enough out there for everybody. Like, put enough out there to where people can cop. Put a million Yeezys in the street. What's the problem? Don't put... 300 in the street and then expect people not to get killed? Like I said, we're in an era where people are walking around with fetuses and Victoria's Secrets and shoplifting. These kids are crazy. They're going to kill you over those red Octobers. So, that's what I do. I wait till the sneaker comes out. I see how many people are getting killed over the sneaker and then I decide when I'm going to put the sneaker on. If the sneaker comes out, you know, you hear about one person getting killed for it. Alright, you probably can put them on in a week or so. If you hear about four or five people getting killed, don't wait that sneaker until six months later. <laughs> All right, so with a sneaker like that, that's only going to run people about two fifty retail, and obviously after it sells out, it's going to go for you know three and four thousand. If you couldn't get a pair of retail, or if somebody couldn't hook you up, how much would you be willing to spend on it if you really wanted it? Nothing. I'm not paying box price or, or the two fifty. I'm not doing that. That's why his whole argument when he said the, the Yeezy was on sale on eBay for ninety thousand dollars, you think Nike hollered at me? You know why Nike didn't holler at you? Cause that's eBay. Nike can't put that shit in the store and sell it for ninety thousand dollars. Who the fuck buying a $90,000 sneaker out the store? So you make no sense from a, a, a corporate standpoint. And that's another reason probably why corporate America don't want to fuck with you. Because they're like, this guy's out of his mind. He wants to put $90,000 sneakers in the store. Ain't nobody buying no $90,000 sneaker. So, it, it, no. If it ain't box price or two fifty, I'm cool. Maybe he saved up a little money and found a connect. He actually made up this whole story about he how he had a friend who had a store who had a connect. Mm -hmm. And I go upstairs and I'm like, hey, where am I at? And I look and I'm looking on the shelves and I don't see him. But I have so many sneakers. I'm thinking, oh, I must have put them somewhere else. Why do I feel rappers' sneakers come and go? I think because they're fans of the consumer. You know, when your fans are the consumer, when your record is hot, they're going to buy it. When your record is not hot, they're not going to buy it. 